Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to extract sample clauses from a clause bank, or you can just access the contract templates entirely through an AI tool called Clause Buddy. And so the way you access it is through Microsoft Word in Word Add-in. And so within a few clicks, you'll have it um, uploaded on your PC here. Once you have um, Clause Buddy installed under the inspiration section, you can store hundreds to thousands of precedents into this clause bank or you can access the millions of sample clauses already preloaded, then you can extract the clauses that you're interested in. So you'll click on Samples Hunt, and what Samples Hunt will do is that you'll have access to um, over 260,000 high quality US contracts. So uh, if you're in the US, obviously this is more advantageous to you and you have access to um, different fields in the law. So energy, finance, commercial, employment, uh, anything you desire, you'll find right here. So if you search, for instance, I'm going to try search um, holdover since this is a commercial lease. Um, what I want to just explain is that you will, if you search definition uh, versus semantic search, the difference between the two is here is you're looking for a more exact uh, match to your search. So an exact match to the words you use, you'll find that. Or if you're trying to search something a little bit more contextual, you want to understand um, the context around which you're using that word, that's when you'll click uh, semantic search. So you can toggle between clauses and documents. So if you want to search for clauses, you click here. If you want to search for documents, you click here. So let's say we search uh, hold over, right? for instance. Once we've searched hold over, um, you can filter here and here. So these are your the two filters. But what I want you to notice that um, you have access to millions of sample clauses and what you can do is bring down uh, your search results to uh, match whatever you're looking for quite accurately. So now we're already down to 939. And then once we apply our filters right here, you can perfect your sample by just clicking document type and once you've clicked document type, you can narrow down your search. So for us, office lease would be something we're looking for. And then if we go down to year, uh, you may be looking for uh, the latest uh, contract. So even though it says 2022, um, what I want you to remember is that uh, contract law, commercial law doesn't change as rapidly as other types of law like energy. So obviously you will see um, more backwards uh, clauses, but that doesn't mean that they're uh, not uh, good clauses. It simply means that the law doesn't change as rapidly as the other fields. Or if you go on the word section here, you can filter by the length of the clause. So if you're looking for something shorter or something longer, you'll just toggle this search, search bar right here. And when you go on documents, um, this is a pretty cool feature you won't see every day. Uh, let's say you search a uh, holdover Hold over, right. Uh, another search uh, feature you won't see every day is this one right here. So what these dots mean is that um, the smaller and the darker they get, the closer uh, match you get between what you're searching for and the clause they have. So um, a darker and bigger circle obviously means uh, a greater match in terms of um, exact search so a smaller and lighter dot will obviously mean um, something which matches what you're looking for, but um, is not um, identical in terms of wording, if you get what I'm saying. So, um, you know, you have um, definitive searches and you have contextual searches. So definitive search is getting an exact um, match for the words you've used in the search engine. And then contextual is uh, something which isn't an exact match in terms of the wording you use, but the context matches what you're searching for. So now we're down to two results. And uh, once you're down to two results, um, what you can do is uh, you can do a bunch of things. You can just simply click this uh, insert here. So let's say you want to in insert the handover clause right here. You simply click this plus here and then you click insert. And then uh, once it's finished loading, it will automatically just uh, move the information over. And what it will also do is that it will match the formatting and styling that's already being used under the heading. So if you uh, put this in the definition section and you have a different font in the definition section, it's going to match that. And then if you have it um, under a number, so uh, typically when we're drafting clauses, you'll have numbers. So if you put it under a numbered section, it will match 
and will uh, give you a, a number that matches um, wherever you're adding the clause there. Now, uh, what you can do is you can also insert with changes so you can make modifications. What you can also do is uh, ask it to make certain modifications. You can copy and paste it if you want to do it manually. And here's just some uh, cool editing styles right there. And if you click here, you can pretty much what you do with ChatGPT where you give it prompts. And so you can give a prompt and say, draft a longer document. So let's try that. Um, make this clause longer. And then you can ask it to redraft. All right. And so what it will do is it will uh, essentially redraft your clause. Uh, and it, it doesn't have to just be longer or shorter. You can uh, ask it to do whatever custom changes you want to make right there. And um, I also want to show you, uh, you can also store it as a clause. So what you can do is you can store it as a playbook. So what you can do is that um, instead of searching and going through this whole process, you can have a playbook where you store your different clauses and then you simply uh, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste until you have a complete document and first draft. And then under this section right here, you can compare. So let's click compare. Oh, sorry. There we go. So on the, under the compare section, it's going to compare the pre-redrafted clause with the clause you just searched on. So you can uh, further redefine your clause search right there. And uh, once you've gone through that, what you can do is you can uh, go to the documents and then do the same search. Now, what's pretty cool, and I think you'd want to see this, is if by just clicking on this uh, top bar right here, what you'll get access to is the entire document. So it will show you where it's getting um, the clause from. And so you'll have access to the entire uh, document. So you can get more uh, context or um, understanding of what the entire contract looks like. Or you can just import the entire contract if you so please. Uh, thanks, guys, for your time. And uh, stay tuned while we um, go through other features that Clause Buddy and uh, the company Clause Base has created. So it's a pretty good um, uh, software. It's way better than uh, so, um, Spellbook in the sense that it gives you everything that Spellbooks gives you, but at a fraction of the cost. So where Spellbook, you would be um, paying $300, per $300 per seat per, per month. Um, with Clause Buddy, you'd be paying $30 per person per month. So uh, we're just going to be exploring some of the features and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, thanks guys.